Hi everyone! Now let's talk about the clownfish. The clownfish or anemone fish. Anemone fish. That's why they called it in a movie Nemo from its name anemone fish. Clownfish live in a symbiotic relationship with certain anemones. This means they benefit living with the sea anemone. And the sea anemone benefits from the presence of the clownfish. They are the only fish that are able to live in sea anemones and not get stung by their tentacles. Clownfish are very active fish and are extremely aggressive. Because they are quite active, the clownfish are thought to be clowning around. They defend their territory and the sea anemone that they live in. Clownfish eat the leftovers from the fish on the anemone and algae. The leftovers include sea copods, isopods, and zooplankton. Clownfish have a few ocean predators, but their greatest threat is humans. People who catch clownfish and keep them as pets in aquariums are making a mistake. There are only 10 out of more than 1,000 types of anemone that are able to host this fish. Many people put the fish in a tank with the wrong anemone. In captivity, the clownfish can live from 3 to 5 years. In the wild, they live 6 to 10 years. What is symbiosis? Symbiosis describes the special relationship between clownfish and sea anemones. They are the only fish that do not get stung by the tentacles of the sea anemone. Clownfish have a slimy mucus covering that protects them from the sea anemone. However, if this covering is wiped off of a clownfish, it will get stung and possibly be killed when it returns home with the anemones. The clownfish and the sea anemone help each other survive in the ocean. The clownfish, while being provided with food, cleans away the fish and algae leftovers from the anemone. In addition, the sea anemones are given better water circulation because the clownfish find their fins while swimming about. Where do clownfish live? Clownfish live at the bottom of the sea in sheltered reefs in a shallow lagoons, usually in pairs. Clownfish have a special relationship with the anemone and are very important to them. They are a large help to the anemone as they clean the anemones by eating the algae and other food leftovers on them. They also protect the sea anemones by chasing away polyp-eating fish such as butterfly fish. What is the life cycle of the clownfish? The spawning season of the clownfish, a time when they breed, is year-round in tropical waters. Males attract the females by courting. Courting behaviors including chasing, biting, and extending fins. Clownfish lay their eggs in batches in coral, rock, or next to the sea anemone that they call home. The male clownfish will build a nest on the rock or coral near the anemone in order to be provided with protection from predators. Breeding starts by the male chasing the female to the nest where the eggs are released. 100 to 1,000 eggs are laid. The male clownfish guards and protects the eggs until they hatch. They hatch within 4 to 5 days. What are some special characteristics of a clownfish? In a group of clownfish, there is a strict hierarchy of dominance. The largest and the most aggressive female is found at the top. Only two clownfish, a male and a female, in a group reproduced through external fertilization. The clownfish are hermaphrodites, meaning that they develop into males first, and when they mature, they become females. Also, as mentioned earlier, more than one clownfish is able to live in a sea anemone. If the female clownfish is removed from the group, such as by death, one of the largest and most dominant males would become a female. The rest of the remaining males will move up a rank on the hierarchy. Now we know about a little bit about clownfish or anemone fish. Thank you so much for watching! And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for more updates. See you on my next vlog. Thank you. Bye-bye.